Someone stole Brittany Tranquino's check for 35000 She won according to federal law, just like 100 cases, won 80000 per $1,200 or $800 job. They settled because the company is a foreign slave trade brand, but it's supposed to be the 80000 The check was stolen. They paid her about 5000 or less with a check for 1200 or 1000 or 800 about a year since 2020 but they owed it since the year 2016 Brittany's one of the only ones to know of the lawyers but 100 cases won the 80000 per 1200 or 800 dollar job she's owed the money according to federal law as a direct deposit Britney's French lingerie show for LA Fashion Week was canceled. Britney modeled for LA Fashion Week for 20 years and booked a runway show every year, separate from slave trade, when the real models were replaced by a roster of slave trade brand employees the year 2007. So it's really rare to be the highest paid supermodel and have 22 full-time contracts the whole time and 20 contracts since 2007. After 20 years, 2020, Brittany had her LA Fashion Week French lingerie show canceled because of a slave to brand client. The night before her runway show, they canceled it. And they also did this Playboy voiceover, hacking into her media and making her cry, blur out her videos, and bully her. This is a cyber crime. So Brittany went to Nordstrom to buy her runway show shoes, and she had the 200 because of her mom. But when she went to Nordstrom, they wouldn't let her use her card. They canceled the bank card at Nordstrom. Brittany's mom added 260 to her card. And she would have been able to go the day of her runway show, but they wouldn't let her use the card. And so they canceled the card and she couldn't go to the runway show and they had canceled the runway show. Brittany is the highest paid supermodel in the world who knows of the lawyers. So she actually has gotten the 10,000 a year for 20 years other models have not had. They had to have family paying. So they model full-time with contracts for 20 years, and it's international. And the most successful ones are with the contracts, with referrals, with 15 agents sitting in an office every year, fighting full-time to get them paid jobs with an agency rate. So they never work for less than an agency rate for 20 years. Brittany's the referral for any party promoters or prostitutes who booked paid jobs through an agency with a full-time schedule which is open to book the jobs. There's no provision for them if they worship idols, if they work for less than an agency rate. So they have to work for an agency rate for 20 years like Brittany. And so Brittany's the referral for the jobs with an agency rate, the professional jobs outside of party promoting or prostitution. The models never work for less than an agency rate, like Brittany, who never has. She survived. It still is the federal law to be paid $80,000 per $1,200 or $800 job through the agencies. Brittany is owed the million a year for print, commercials, as the highest paid commercial contract supermodel after being the highest paid supermodel. Theatrical and her own brand. She's more successful than any Victoria's Secret model slave trade brand 2007 and slave trade for soap operas for soap stars who got a million a year with Victoria's Secret can models and producers for theatrical. Brittany rejected Ken and rejected the slave trade for theatrical. So she would be paid as the highest paid sustainable anti-slave trade brand owner in the world. She is owed 
the 1.4 million for the first four years with Ford, according to federal law, and then the 250,000, according to federal law, but they should pay double since it was never paid. Brittany is owed the million a year when it was replaced by Slave Trade Brands 2007 for the million a year, and she'd be paid for 40 years, a million a year. For 40 years, commercial contracts for a million a year. For 40 years, a million a year for theatrical, as if she was the film distributor for all the most theatrical jobs she booked. She booked the most amount of theatrical jobs with a speaking line to a celebrity on A-list productions. And so she could have been paid the million a year for what she did. She did it the hardest way possible, being the only one to get booked out of all agencies to do that and be a theatrical model talent out of LA as a referral for the 20 year model talent all around the world, side with print, commercials, theatrical, who were the only ones to get booked with that calling being the highest paid supermodel actors. Their business is the highest paid blogging business and it's their own highest paid business as the highest paid clients everywhere. Respected.